free for the long wait. I got a writing spa, and I might write a few more chapters to Ongechit. Chapter 14, Born an Ugly. Korachan, it hurts, it really hurts. Raichu closed her eyes tightly. It seemed like it would take an eternity. She had been dilating for a good two hours, and her whole body felt like giving up. Hey, Raichan, I can see it. It's beautiful. Don't give up now. Cora screamed and held on to the baby. Believe me, Cora-chan, I can't not now. She cried and her eyes bleed out. The pain throbbed through her temples and to her legs. Screams and pain could be heard throughout the entire restaurant. People had stopped eating and was watching intently. Some people threw up. Raichu pushed as hard as she could and Cora and Kenichia threw the whole thing. The baby's head came out first and then Cora pulled her out. Right true, Cora said. It's a a bright crimson light shone from the baby and the lights went out. Floating in the air was a young naked girl with long green hair. She had kind face and a beautiful smile. Her cheeks were rosy and her eyes twinkled. She had brown furry cat ears coming out of her head and two wigs on her back. Okasan, spoke the little girl. I am Elaine, your daughter. This is my true form. Thank you for carrying me all this time. A part of me lie hidden in you and in Inuyasha. When you two came together, you made me. For thousands of years, I have lied dormant within people, waiting for the perfect match to find each other. Does that mean I should marry Inuyasha? Raichu said. Her golden eyes sparkled and a tear fell off her face. Okasan, I can't tell you any more about your life. You need to figure things out for yourself. I have created you, and in return you created me. Before I leave, I shall grant you one withs. I don't know what to wish for. Who are you? Her eyes burned. I'm God. You are the mother of God. I will give you one piece of everlasting happiness. She looked to the ground like as if starring at something intensely, trying to make up her mind. She could be selfish and ask her father dead or ask where Sashomaru was hiding. Show me where Sashomaru the Vampire Lord is. Her voice rang out into the stars. As you wish, Okasan. Between Elaine's, a.k.a. Tenshikuzu, hands, there was a vision of the path to Sashomaru's secret lair. The perfect time would be to go Ashita. Tomorrow, I see, Retchiru nodded. Sayonara, Tenshikuzu. Sayonara, Okasan. Elaine disappeared into the light. Kora and a bunch of the other people regained consciousness. Whoa, what happened? She was scarred and panning in a king. It's okay, Retchiru reassured. Hey, I think I'll order the duck. But up up but up up. Oh, hey, I'm